anybody ask you Saturdays, that's typically a day where, especially Saturday mornings, where we prepare ourselves and prepare our hearts and minds to go celebrate different people's lives that have made their transition. Guess what? We have an appointment that we will not be able to cancel or put off. It's already appointed for man, woman, whoever, to pass on, to die. And I know that's like, oh, what you talking about? But this life is very short. I don't care even if you are able to live for a hundred years, it goes away. Days goes, passes, days pass so quickly. Seasons, years, but this is like the last weekend of winter. Spring will come, new life. So. Something for us to think about this weekend. Happy Saturday, March 18th. Could it be? Yeah, 2023. 20, I was just thinking about before coming to the piano and playing how March and April are very tough months for me. Uh, March was when my dad passed on. Remember from a, a bee sting? Uh, he we had that anaphylactic reaction back in July. And then he uh, fell into a vegetative state because of the lack of oxygen to the brain. And then he passed in March. Well, we found out that there was my brother. He came to the cemetery because we were burying my mom's brother. And then my brother comes and said, dad has passed on. So that was in March. I believe 2007, wow, so that's what, uh, 16 years ago. And then that next April, April, not the next month, but that next April, 2008, that's when my mom passed in her sleep, just coughing and just Lord took her. And I, and I can remember that I was able to prepare some oatmeal that morning for her. And like I, I always said, you know, you don't need all that sugar. You know, I, I didn't believe in putting so much sweeteners and stuff because I said, you're already sweet. And she complained. She's like, oh, Michelle, oatmeal. Oh, it's not sweet enough, whatever. Oh, my goodness. But then an hour or two later, I get a call that she, that my sister, I think, Pat, uh, found her. And then six months after that, six or seven months after that in November, I walk into my parents' home and then I see my brother who was the bearer of bad news for, regarding my father. I see my brother next to the piano on the floor. I was like, Lord, what's going on? Within so little time. But guess what? All of us are gonna to have to check out of here. Now we might not leave as far as being buried, you know, having to be buried. Maybe we might have this circumstance where we have been left here 
in 1 Thessalonians 4, it says in verse 16, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Verse 17, Then we which are alive, maybe you, we don't know who will be alive. We don't know when the Lord is coming back. But we or who which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. That's reason to shout, knowing that our challenges here, our hardships are temporary. Yeah, they might be hard, but God is with us and he'll forever be with us. It will be with him forever in eternity. But in the meantime, verse 11 gives us a mandate every day while we have breath. It says that we study, study to be quiet, right? Not so much quiet maybe with voice, but quiet that you have reflection with your Lord and connection and fellowship and relationship. And it says, and to do, so while we're quiet, Saying, Lord, what, is this your will? Because I only want to do your will. I only want to find out your good pleasure. It says, and to do your own business. To do what I have called you to do. And to be what I've called you to be. And then it says, and to work with your own hands. Mm -hmm. As we commanded you. And it's also referenced by Acts 20, 35, where it says, we are to support those who are weak. This is part of the work that we're to do. Yeah. And to strengthen those who have given up. That's why we have to encourage one another, spur each other, build each other up. Because it says that we are to labor. Ye ought to support the weak and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. How it is more blessed to give than to receive. So that's what we must do while we have breath and life. While we are still here, we haven't been caught up in the air. We haven't transitioned. We have not gone to another celebration of life, or maybe you are on the way to one, but don't you know that you should have a pen or pencil in hand and take notes and that person's life, their obituary, their eulogy. So then you can apply those lessons, right? Live, laugh, love. You, you hear those sayings at these funerals so that you can apply it to your life and then you can pass it on. Well, because of today's date, we would have gone to Psalms 18, 48, 78, 108, and 138. Psalms 48. Ah, Oh my goodness, that's the let Mount Zion rejoice chapter. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. And we know it goes to the beautiful for the situation that we are here in the land of living is Mount Zion, right? Because God is known in her palaces, refuge. But we are to be mindful and study to be quiet. Verse 9, we have thought of thy loving kindness, ah, O God, in the midst of thy temple. Remember in Psalms 43, 5, is it that God is in the midst of her? Yes, even, <coughs> yes, she shall not be moved, but he shall help her right early. Well, and we are to be mindful of this, the last verse of Psalms 48, for this God is our God. While we are living, he promises to instruct us in the way that we shall go. He's our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. That's why we have no reason to fear dying because we're winners either way it goes. Whether we live, we are unto the Lord. Whether we die, we are unto the Lord. Hey, God, we thank you, Lord, that we have blessed confirmation and blessed assurance that you are ours and we are yours. So, Father, Lord, let us continue to... Do your good pleasure to be your good pleasure, Father, while we're here, while you give us breath and life until we're called home and hopefully hear those words. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Have your way in our lives. You get the worship and glory. In Jesus' name, amen.